Yeah, I mean, I've, you know, first of all, congrats to Central Florida, um, you know, for getting that win. Um, you know, but I, but I think it, it pointed to a very undisciplined football team. Is that what we were tonight? And that, that pisses me off. And we've been that way, um, and that's on me. We're going to get that fixed. Um, we got three more weeks, and then we got an off season. But we're going we're going to do everything we can to get that fixed. And you cannot win football games being that undisciplined. And and that is the turnovers. That is the penalties. I mean, we had a player get kicked out tonight. I mean, it. You know, those type things is not who we want to be. And it's embarrassing that we do those things. Uh, we got to get that fixed. And we're going to continue to work hard to get that fixed. Whoever wants to show up in that locker room tomorrow, we're going to continue to work on that. And that's what I told them in the locker room just then. It's, it's, that's unacceptable. You know, it, it, I feel like a broken record coming in here, you know, where we're out gaining teams by over 100 yards, and yet we're on the short end of the stick. And it comes down to, you know, I don't know, you can pick the number of plays, six or eight plays. And, but they're the difference in the game. And, and that is what's frustrating. And, uh, and I know it's frustrating to our crowds that show up and I appreciate everyone that shows up out there and that, you know, have to look at that crap and it pisses me off. And we got to get that fixed. I know that, we understand that. And, and we're going to. Um, man, I mean, we, cause we did some great things tonight and that, and that, and that gets overshadowed shadowed by, by some undisciplined play. I mean, the, the work of our running backs and I mean, these guys didn't even practice. I mean, they didn't even practice till Wednesday, you know, and they're coming out and we got two guys over 100 yards again. You know, we've done that several times this year. And so I'm extremely proud of them, the way they competed. Uh, offensive line, opening up holes like they did tonight. Great job. Um, you know, I mean, it's just frustrating and it, it, obviously, and uh, but we're going to work to continue to get that fixed. And, and even, even at that, even at that, all of that, we still had a chance to go down here and tie the game. We didn't hit the two-point play. And because um, our guys played our butts off, and that's what's frustrating. And when we got about, you know, I don't know what the percentage is of guys that are playing on discipline. Uh, we got to continue to work to get better at that. Um, you know, our plan tonight was to get Brady in at quarterback, and we did that um, early in the game. Allowed him to go and thought he played well. Um, thought Emory played well. You know, the plan was to start Emory, and, and no matter what happened, we were going to put Brady in because he deserves to play. So we were able to get him in the game. Um, you know, I thought Emory was playing good, so we, you know, we ended up leaving him in the second half. Um, you know, we could have put Brady in, but I thought Emory was, was doing a good job. And, you know, got us back in. We drove down the field. It was a great drive. Um, you know, Braden Smith played really good tonight, had some big time catches, um, get, get us in the ball game, and, um, you know, to put a chance to tie the game at, there at the end. But, um, you know, again, just frustrated. Let's open up a question. Chad, the Navy. If it is a focus and discipline issue, what's the answer? Is it playing time? Is it – how do you approach yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's going to take some time. It's not going to get fixed in a couple of days. I mean, this is going to be, um, you know, a work in progress, which we know. And, you know, we're going to work hard this week to see if we can fix that. Maybe it's playing time. Maybe it's some other things. You know, you know, the, you know, the – some of the issue is you don't have many guys to put in, you know, right now with our depth issues. Um, but we'll figure some of that out. It's, uh, but it's all, it's just being disciplined in little things. It's, you know, and, and for me, it's everything. It's not just on the field because I think, you know, when you, when you, you know, doing things right off the field, you're going to do things on the field and that's within our program. Um, but, but it may take longer, you know, Chad, to answer your question. I mean, it may be, you know, that may be the January, February, it's going to be a tough winter here. And, um, you know, because you, we got to clean those things up. Because no matter how good you are on the field, you know, you can't go win these games in this in this league. It's just not happening. And and we see it week in and week out. No matter who the teams are, you have to be a disciplined football team. You can't beat yourself. And we've done that so many times this year. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll take ownership of that. And that's, that's what we're going to get fixed. Uh, you mentioned the QB decisions. Was there any reason why Brady went in when he did, or was that like always the plan? That was the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. I think it was the third series, right? Yeah, yeah that was the plan to put him in the third series and let him get some action and, you know, you know, put him out there and let him play a little bit. Thought he did a really good job, um, you know, and I think, you know, we'll go into next week. We'll continue to you know, let those guys get equal reps throughout practice and then, you know, see how we end up as, as we go throughout the rest of the season. Scott? People get frustrated. You get frustrated. Fans. When when they boo the quarterback, is that how difficult is that for you and him? 
Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. I don't like getting booed. I'm sure Emory doesn't like getting booed or whoever else is playing doesn't like it, especially in your own stadium. Nobody likes to get booed in your own stadium. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, these these guys that are playing, I mean, they're, 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 trying, to, they're trying to produce. They're trying to make plays. We, we as coaches are trying to make the best decisions and calls that we make in order to, to make plays. You know, and I get it when we don't. You know, that's, it is frustrating. And I think, you know, our fans, you know, probably um, have seen too much of that, probably. And they get, they get a little bit overzealous in their booze. Um, but I get it. I get it because we got to do better. We got to do better. But when you're at home, you know, you'd love to get some support from your people. But, I, but they show up and they're awesome. I mean, they are. It is a great home field advantage. And they were great tonight. Um, you know, we, we came up a little bit short. But we got to do better as players and coaches. Give them something to cheer for. Oh, is the plan to, to keep up the quarterback with whom for, for Well, we'll see how it goes this week. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll go how, see how practice goes. Those guys got, you know, they work their butts off of practice. That, you know, all have great relationships in that room, and they're pulling for each other. And, um, you know, I would say that we would see both of them play, you know, as we move throughout this season. But we'll see. We'll see how, how it all pans out. You have the completion of Braden down to the two-yard mm -hmm. line and then immediately the false start. What yeah. did you see? Discipline. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to walk in right there, and we and we false start. Now, now it backs us up five yards, and now we didn't. We struggling to get in the, in, in the end zone, you know, and um, that made that, that made a, it would have made a huge difference, right? And that, but that's the undisciplined football that I'm talking about. And then on the quarterback situation going forward, is that something that you see as a development tool for Brady, or is, do you see that as a legitimate way that you can win games? No, we're trying to win. We're trying to win, and, and whoever can give us the best chance to win. And, and I thought, I thought they both played good tonight and the things that they were asked to do. Um, you know, and I, I'm not going to put Brady in a situation where he's going to fail, you know. But, but we, we're trying to win the game. Both, both whoever's playing at quarterback, they're going to compete. They're, we're not, you know, not going to hold anything back as far as those two guys go. And, and, and whoever's you know, moving the offense will, will be the guy playing. Ryan and Chad. R.J. Harvey, 167 yards on 20 carries. What was their offense doing that allowed him yeah. to go off like that? Well, I mean, they're they're number one. They're very fast offense. They 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 tempo you. They try to get you out of position. And, and if a guy doesn't fit right, and all of a sudden now he bounced. I thought he bounced. You know, several tonight. Got out the front door. It, the guy can run. I mean, he's a fast running back. Um, you know, I thought we hemmed him up pretty good in the first half. You know, then in the second half he got loose on us a, a little bit, which was, you know, guys not fitting right. But um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I think he's a talented football player. There's no question about it. We got to do a better job of fitting it. As a follow-up to that, sorry. Um, second week in a row where we've seen a running back do that in the second half, is that just, um, I guess, a lack of conditioning? No, it's not like lack of fatigued in the second half? Yeah, I mean, maybe give, you get wore down a little bit. You know, you're, you know, I don't think it's conditioning. I mean, I think we're in good shape. I, I think maybe at you know, times lack of focus, uh, at times not, not doing your job, not being where you're supposed to be in alignment. Um, you know, I think it's more of that. It's not the physical nature. I think it's more the mental side. On a positive note, Ryan Montgomery comes back and looked outstanding mm -hmm. today. Yeah, he did. He's another one of those running backs. I mean, he missed, what did he miss, four or five games? I mean, um, you know, we certainly could have used him throughout that time. And, you know, I think when he went down, whatever it was a month ago, I mean, he was really kind of hitting his stride, I thought. You know, he really could have helped us. And, um, you know, it was great to have him back t today, and um, man, he had a, he had a great game because you know he he's a versatile weapon because he can catch the ball in the backfield. He's got that threat of that, but also he, he's got good vision. And um, I thought he made some great runs. Him and Corey both you know did some great things. Miles was still you know still banged up a little bit too from last week, but um, but I mean all those guys are running hard and you know doing what it takes to to really give us a chance to win games. Scott, how uh, important was that momentum shift early in the game? You don't convert fourth and one. They get the big player, the pass interference call down the field. That seemed like a big moment early in that game. It was big. You know, we, we had gone for the fourth down earlier. We got it. We lined back up on the next fourth down, and our, you know we had a, a pop pass to the tight end. He falls down. I mean, it's an all or nothing play, um, and uh, we just we didn't execute. We didn't get it done, and so you know we, there's nobody for Emory to throw to. But I was. Now, we were on the plus 40, I think, when that happened. So, you know, if you don't get that, you're really not putting your defense in a, in a terrible bind. So I felt like it was worth the risk to try to, to try to hit that, you know, try to get a touchdown there. Um, you know, we'd worked on that all week, and it was unfortunate we didn't execute. A couple more, Scott than Aaron. Uh, Barry Jackson gets in a couple good plays. Yeah. It's two games for him. Mm -hmm. He gets four. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do you walk that tightrope yeah. with, with a player like that that obviously 
Produce. Man, well, yeah, we man, I think think Barry's really an excellent player. I think he's going to be outstanding. He's, um, you know, we're going to play him in two more games. You know, so we'll see we'll see which two we're going to play him in. Um, but it, you know, it was a great. You see his talent. I mean, he's what, he's got two catches on the season. He scored on one, and I thought he about scored on the other one. Um, so he's an explosive player, uh, runner. He's got really good hands. Um, he's going to be outstanding for us. So we'll we'll, we'll play him in two. We'll just decide which two. Last couple, Aaron and Russ. I was going to mention Barry as well, mm -hmm. but Kalen Carroll got playing time, and Trump Pete got playing time. Some of the younger guys getting in there. Pretty happy with what you saw out of some of the younger guys getting Yeah, time. I mean, you know, I, I think Carroll, I thought, played better tonight. Um, you know, we'll see as we go back and watch the tape. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to look at everybody play, um, you know, but those guys certainly had to get in and play. You know, you think about when threats went out now, you know, Antoine comes in, and then I think DJ Taylor played a bunch in the second half there. Um, and, uh, you know, so we'll see how, see how those guys did. I mean, it's hard to say just from watching it on the game. Russ, final question. Five sacks tonight from UCF. Was it just lack of hitting the reads and hitting, hitting the progressions fast enough, or was it a, a protection issue? Uh, I think a couple of those were protection issues. One of them was a running play. I know they called it a sack, but it was a running play. Um, and and you know and I think they got good pass rushers. I think number three, number three and fifty one are really good pass rushers. Um, they can get after the quarterback. But um, you know I thought I thought that you know really is probably more protection issues when you think about the the uh, the sacks. I mean I, I know one of them was a it looked like number three just hit Emory right off the bat, but that was actually a run. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you guys. Well, Ryan